Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to work on Canon's uh, fake paper jam. By fake, I mean you already make sure there's no debris in your printer. There's no uh, small uh, piece of paper stick somewhere. You already check your P sensor the, and also P sensor lever. The P sensor lever is okay if it, feel, it feels right in the P sensor. And uh, you auto your idea, nothing else uh, seems matters. And then you come to this video. Uh, check the the waste ink pad uh, assembly underneath the uh, printhead, and if you see like this, the assembly is totally out of whack. And uh, I do have a video that uh, for it, for it's not out of whack and uh, need to be adjust position. And I'm gonna put a link above. But this one you can totally say it went sideways. It should look like this. It's uh, parallel to your uh, printer, and uh, also this lever is spring loaded, and uh, it pushed the uh, uh, pushed the white box all the way to the left. So today we're going to put this box into a correct position. Uh, however, if you cannot get the lever spring loaded, just refer to the video above. The white box you see here is basically floating on top of a black base, and uh, there are four springs on each corner. So be careful when you move the white box, you not necessarily move the black base. Okay, here's the uh, here's the bottom the black base. Here are two tabs look like a forklift, and here's a very long tab. That goes to the right side of your assembly. And here's a short tab that goes to the left side of your assembly. Your goal is to uh, put those two tabs into their groove. And at the same time, the forklift have to pick up uh, this, I don't know if it's called a stick or rod or uh, a lever. It's more like a lever. I'll call it a lever. Uh, the problem is, uh, uh, the tab is exactly the same position as the uh, forklift. So if you put the, the tab in, the forklift will not pick up the lever. So this one will not work because the lever is still underneath the uh, forklift. Uh, as far as how to take the cover off is covered by the previous video, I will not repeat here. Uh, I use an uh, angled uh, screwdriver to remove that uh, little white piece uh, to give me more space. Uh, you can just bend the cover uh, over and uh, use a regular screwdriver to remove that piece. It's just I have an angle, angle the screwdriver, so it's easier for me to do this way. I don't know why Canon designed this piece. It's just so easy to fall off and uh, go back pretty easily. So you just put it in and uh, just slide it in like this. First, I feel around to see if the lever is still attached to the forklift. Be very carefully. If it's attached, you don't want to dis dislodge it and make it even harder. For my luck, it just detached. Let's do the hard way then. Here's the forklift. Uh, so if it's not attached, I suggest you check your uh, printer serial number and call Canon and uh, see if it's still under warranty. And, uh, if it's under warranty, get a new printer right, rather than to go forward. If it's out of warranty, uh, uh, you can sell it for parts on eBay or uh, just adventure on. We're going to have a ride. Our game plan is uh, move the lever to the left a little bit, then slide underneath uh, those forklifts, and uh, then attach the, attach the tab on the right side. And that's how oh, I finished the stage one, and we're going to take a break. Unfortunately, I didn't film the one I did, uh, film the one that I did uh, on, the, on the last printer. So I'm, I'm using a different printer, let's show you. See, this thing can be pushed to the left a little bit. So when you push the left, you can slide the forklift under it. Let's do it. Uh, for the first time, you're going to practice a little bit and uh, make sure you catch the lever. That's the whole point. Uh, look close. Uh, now I feel it. 
Now try to get the the tab inside the groove vertically, and make sure the the whole thing goes in. If you notice, the wall can be bent a little bit, so that helps. That's looking good. Now get back to this printer. Uh, this is exactly like how we started. Uh, it went sideways. However, this time when you lift it up, you'll find it's harder to lift it up because the forklift, they call the lever, and uh, that's a good thing. Now make sure you're pulling from underneath. Don't just pull on the white part. Pull on the black part. And also don't pull too hard. If you pull too hard, your forklift is going to be broken. Lift and push forward. Uh, you should hear a click, and this right it falls right in. If you see, it can go up and down, and uh, that's good. Th good sign. That's because the lever is inside the forklift, so that can go up and down. Okay, that's of the worst scenario. Okay, uh, we got one more printer to fix today, so let's go to the next one. Uh, most of the time, uh, you're going to have uh, this second case, uh, which is the easier part, which is uh, the forklift still in there, and uh, it's not uh, totally out. It's rare that you can jerk the forklift completely off the lever. So basically, you just lift it up a little bit and uh, push it, push it uh, forward, and it will be falling right inside uh, into the slot. Um, unfortunately, for this case, when I was uh, feeling around to see if it's, uh, the forklift lift is still attached, I accidentally just push it right into the position and uh, got it fixed. Man, was I upset or what? It just falls right in there. It goes up and down, and uh, the problem is fixed. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Also, uh, please visit uh, bchtechnologies.com, and uh, we can teach you how to refill this baby, so you don't never buy a new cartridge again. Next time, uh, don't beat your printer too hard, especially when you have a piece of paper underneath the print head. Do not jerk it out, and uh, do it peacefully, and uh, speak out against the printer violence. Peace.